We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. We have magical monsters in our heads. We make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight Matrin or not? I mean, we've only known who she was again for about, you know, a minute and a half now. I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. Hey, at least it'll keep us together a little longer. Get off my screen. Let's do it. We can't run from her the rest of our lives. It's just such a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matrin. I can't believe you're bitching because you just... Oh! I know, but Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Seriously, you can't establish an emotional connection in a minute and a half. Alright, seriously. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about we as the player cannot actually give a shit with no build-up. You can just go, hey, this person is important. That's what so many games get wrong. They throw you into a situation, and yes, I'm rambling even though there's dialogue, but they throw you into a situation like, oh, this is your brother, or this is your mother, or your father, or your wife, or your son, your daughter. You know, this is the, a school you're in. And, you know, you only know these people for like five minutes of gameplay, and then they get wiped out, and it's like you're supposed to be all devastated, but you have no connection. You only, you know, it's like the game goes, you're supposed to care about these people. And it's like, oh, okay, you know. It's like something like, uh, spoiler alert for Fallout 3, you know, you spend that whole time looking for your father, and then he finally dies, and I was actually pissed off! I mean, there was a little bit of build-up, you didn't know him that much, but I mean, the whole thing, like, gotta find dad, gotta find dad, and I mean, there was parts that pissed me off, but you know, Liam Nielsen has a great voice, and it was just kind of like watching him die, and because I'd spent so long looking for him, and kind of got a little bit attached, I was actually like, looking at the, the people who were responsible for his death, like, you motherfucker, I'm going to kill every one of you now. But that's my mini rant back to the gameplay. Rinoa, it's up to you. We're going to fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with our lives. That makes any If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everybody wants. I, on the other hand, would like you to go the fuck away. I don't like you. I've never liked you. I didn't like you the first time I played this game, like, what, 11 years ago or something like that now? 12 years ago? Look, look! A gift from the fairies! It's fucking snow! Come up here where I live, you see a shitload of it. Go across the lake, right across the lake, like, you know, a couple of miles to Canada. They see a shitload of it. I'm in northern Ohio, there's a shitload of snow. Yo, you want to go check out Edith's orphanage? We might find a clue. A clue, you mean, as to why Matron turned out like this? Probably has nothing... It probably has to do with something that happened in the past. But the past is past. It's over. Done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see, too. I don't know what we're fine, but let's head for Edith's house. Oh, damn it, they're going to make me talk to Rhino again. <sighs> I guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless? I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. That's why I think everyone's afraid of. I wish we didn't have to fight either. And yet, all this has happened, and not one of these people are suffering from sh shell shock. Then again, they do have monsters in their head. That might fortify against shock. Alright, now we can go to Ida's house at this point. But, it's side quest time, I believe. Because there's a shitload of side quests in this game. And, uh... Gotta think of which one I want to do first. If I want to do one. I'm trying to think of all the different ones. Because there's a whole bunch of them. Alright.
we're going to go to the Shumi Village. If I can get there. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, I can get back up. Somehow. Some places you can't though. Oh crap. Damn it, Beach. Now, I don't really know how interested everyone is in what I'm going to do here. Oh, they're all the way over there. They're on a different continent. Now, uh, Norg was a Shumi, if you remember. Uh, Got to get up here. It's always a pain in the ass. Oh, wait, there's a beach. Less of a pain in the ass. All right. trying to think. I think there's a couple of guardian forces I can... Well, not a couple, but... I, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit! Shit! Oh, well, I can get out. I hate trying to pilot this stupid garden. Now I gotta get back over there. If I even can. I think I have to go all the way around now. You know, I could have swore. Maybe it's just the Ragnarok that does that. I'm pretty sure in one of these games, when you get a vehicle, you can just, like, put your icon on the thing, and it will just... Oh, damn it, it's right there. And it will automatically take you to it. So here's the Shumi Village. We live way the frig up here. In Antarctica, whatever the hell this place is should be. How you doing? Welcome to Shumi Village. We should go to the village, take the front elevator to the bottom level. There are precious spells at this draw point. You must pay if you wish to draw from it. I have to pay? Yeah. No friggin' way. I don't know. I think... I think it's a good spell, but I think there's a way to get it, get it for free. Please have a seat. I'll do that. Welcome to Shumi Village. You have been specially permitted here. We hope you enjoy your stay. The elevator reaches the village entrance shortly. Thank you, hologram man. You're very kind. Well, we exit through the door? I was just going to try to headbutt my way through the wall, but, you know, I guess that's how you do it around here. I mean... I guess I must obey your strange customs. Now, I think... I don't know which one you got to go into. This music. Hello there. Can you see me? Hold on a sec. <laughs> Overcome difficulties with effort and ingenuity. That's the Shumi way. No, I will not. Hmm? What the Moomba? No, I like the other music better. Alright, saving it. Like I said, I think I pretty much do, maybe not all the side quests. I know I said I was going to do everything, but now that I'm actually thinking about this, some side quests I just think are useless. You know, you get like an item or something you don't even really need. But I'm going to do all the really good ones. And if there's one I, I think about that, you know, I think you might some might be interesting, I'll talk about it. Hello and welcome. Hey, greetings and hello is my thing. Specialists are surprised to let you in. Usually only merchants are permitted to come within our village. 
This is our negotiation table. We exchange minerals with outside traders. You mine for minerals? Of course. You think we built a village 323 meters underground just for fun? No need to be a dick. Actually, there was a little fun in it. I kind of want an underground house. I, you know, I'm hoping I can get a compromise and get half. Zombies, man! I gotta be... I wanted something they don't know is there! Although, you know, now that I saw those big, giant concrete houses that this guy's building, those look pretty cool. Of course, that's just a dream house, and I don't... Probably will never have that kind of money. Hey, Moomba. You gonna let me in? Um, come on. I can't get past... Fucking Moomba. And, of course, grass thwarts me. I can't walk through it. It's grass of... Pure power, I tell you. Okay, which one of these houses is the right one? I know there's like a, somebody I gotta talk to to actually start the quest. Oh. Oh, Timber Maniacs. Something I've been ignoring as well. You an outsider? Most of us here don't have a good impression of the outside world, but Artisan knows where some good things are about it. Blah, blah, blah. Once, Artisan stopped by a mer hopelessly foul wasteland and met with a wonderful group of people called Artisans. They're the same souls, the Artisans and the Shumis. That alone, the fact that there are people like them in the outside world, makes your world worthy. Since then, the Artisans have come, have had a major influence on my work. Sorry. Take a look at this, for example. Holy car! You made a toy car? That's pretty impressive. Holy bigger car! Holy bus! That's all you gotta say? Alright. I'll leave you to you and your weird falling models. You could hurt somebody with those, you know. What if somebody's sleeping on the bed and you're like, hey, look at this, thud. Damn you, grass. Looks like Laguna. Sculptor. <laughs> it is. Oh, Jesus. It's, it's, you know Master Laguna? <laughs> Better than you think. Well, sort of. Oh, yeah. This is Laguna lore. Long ago, Moomba found this man lying near our village, covered with blood, and carried him into our village. It appeared he had slipped and fallen off a cliff. We took care of him and he, until his wounds were healed. If you wish to know more about Master Laguna, you should go talk to the Elder. Sculptor insisted you go talk with him. Sculptor is sure it will please the other. Yeah, sure, okay. That's what I came here for. Excellent. For a foreigner, you have a big heart. Sculptor will tell the Moomba Garden the entrance to let you pass. You raise the Moombas in this village? Raise? Moomba is one of the final, many final forms that we Shumis take. Final form? You don't know? Excluding the ones qualified become elders, all Shumis evolve at a certain stage of our lives. We become what is in our hearts. Often those who fail to become honorable elders turn into Moombas. The passionate ingenuity in their hearts rises, gives rise to the red hair. That sucks. It's common knowledge. Sculptor is surprised you didn't know. How do you communicate if you become a beast? But a beast? How dare you call them beasts? Yes, the ones who become elders are remarkable people. But what did you call them again? Beasts! You don't see their noble features, their gem-like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you! And I'm not reading all that. Everything about them is great. Okay, alright, face palm. Man, you and your big mouth. Fire Aga. Hi, Irving. How is it? Some Fire Aga. It's so peaceful here. Anyway, please go see the elder. Yeah, I'm going. Anyway, if you remember at the end of the first disc, 
when um, Irving was freaking out saying he couldn't do it, the real reason he couldn't do it, he was actually lying a bit, is the fact that he knew it was Ida, or Matt Ren, or whatever you want to call her, and he didn't want to shoot her. He didn't want to kill her. But seeing as how nobody seemed to know what was going on, that's the excuse he gave. And I, I think they actually do talk about it more sometime later, but a lot of people like to argue that, but that's the reason he didn't pull the trigger. When he said, I can't do it, it's because he was real, you know, when he's sitting there shaking, he was thinking about who she was, and he knew good and damn well who she was, and he didn't want to kill her. Boy, none of you guys are as fat as Norg. We appreciate your coming forward. That you've come here, you must know Master Laguna. Thank you for coming. Allow me to talk about Master Laguna for a moment. Oh, God. It was about 17 years ago when we found him injured. He was on his way to Easter to save a girl named Alone who had been abducted by Easter soldiers. He fell off another cliff, you mean? He stayed here for a short while until his injuries here. During his stay, he tried to teach Amumba how to speak. Why? He told me that he felt sorry for the Moombas because they didn't know any words. He said words are useful and precious. I believe that Moombas don't need to know words because important things can be communicated without words. Not really. Perhaps we don't need words either. Even Master Laguna was not very good with words. His communication skills were horrible. But we still understood what he desperately wanted to say, how eager he was to save alone. His eyes, more than his words, told us this. That's all I have to say. Why are you building a statue of him? You find it strange, yes? I doubt what you understand. We believe that Master Laguna has a special something. That something is the power to attract people. Okay, so he's hot? Is that what you're saying? We still don't know what it is, so we decided to build a statue of him. We felt that we may come to understand why Master Laguna is so special by doing this. That bumbling clown? I better not say anything. Oh, the irony! Now, I'll, you'll, I'll tell you more about the irony later if you don't know. I don't want to spoil anything. But there's some serious fucking irony right there. <laughs> Please excuse my humble vote. I, 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 How do I start the damn thing? Please wait. Yeah, okay. We'd like to present you with a gift since you came all this way. But shoot me, one must work to earn anything. This is our way. You don't earn gifts. That's why they're gifts. I have an idea. Please assist my attendants in the workshop so that I can pre present you with a gift. Where is it? It's where you saw Master Laguna's statue. I want to finish the statue as soon as possible. We want to finish. It's not a gift if you charge somebody for it. And work is just another way of charging. That's not a gift, dude. Whatever. Bunch of dicks. That's all you are. Making me do shit I don't want to do. Alright, was it was it this one or was it the other one? I think it was this one. I hate this music. Well, I don't hate it. I'm just tired of hearing it. It's the Blam theme, man. Why is it in Shumi? Not that it's a bad theme. I just want to hear a new theme. Oh, and he's offering you that. Hmm. Wow, that's a great honor. It's really given, especially to outsiders. Okay, shall we get to work? As you can see, Sculptor has a very big responsibility making this statue. To finish it, Sculptor will need to do additional research on several stones. Sculptor would like you to go get them. Alright. Sculptor needs five kinds of stones. Shadow stone, wind stone, life stone, water stone, and blue stone. We don't know anything about stones. <laughs> we kill mans. Don't worry about it. You won't, you'll be able to tell them by their names. Don't worry. When in doubt, examine them carefully. Also, there's a specialist in this village who can help you. Okay, let's start with the blue stone. Leave it. Huh? Alright, there we go. This stone is blue.